Hello and welcome to Ignite with Mwangala. I'm your host, Mwangala Chakalashi Santos. Now, I am so excited because in this season, we are celebrating industry captains. It doesn't matter from which industry. Today, in particular, we have champions from the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations. I remember, I know, we all remember that moment when Zambia lifted the Africa Cup after so many attempts. Joining me on the set are team members from that team which lifted the Africa Cup of Nations. With me is James Chamanga and Emmanuel Mayuka. Welcome to the show. Thank you, and thank you for having us. Emmanuel, thank you. welcome. Thank you very much. You guys look different. I wish you had come in your jerseys and the boots to help us remember the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations when you lifted the cup. I think that's who you are, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think yeah, starting from, uh, from my side, I think uh, sometimes it's nice for us sometimes just to also look out of football uh -huh. and just to see that you are also humans besides football. I so know, I we know. Just also, we also miss looking like you guys. Oh, wow. Looking smart and trying mm -hmm. to portray a different image so for yeah. me I also want to ask for us to be you to know, be relaxed at, uh, at us to relax okay but that's how we know you mm -hmm. that's true you know, actually the um, orange jerseys the <coughs> green jerseys what jersey were you wearing on 12th of February 2012 it was uh, green, green and uh, black green black and red uh, oh, right. yeah, green. Yeah, the usual yeah. Zambian jersey mm -hmm. yeah the Zambian flag of course wow. the green okay. So let's go back to that day. What were the emotions? What was the mindset? Uh, for me, uh, maybe before he comes in, because uh -huh. that game I didn't have it, uh, the final game I didn't play. Uh -huh. He played the game. Okay. Uh, uh, he played the previous game. But uh -huh. the, on that day, for me, when I go back to this, when I go back, when I bring back my memory, going back there, that's when I get the real emotions again, mm -hmm. like the real ones. Because that day, after the game finished, mm -hmm. I was just crying. I was like, <laughs> I was, yeah. I was my friend Isaac just crying, cry, crying. You couldn't believe it? I couldn't believe it. I said, what is happening? Uh -huh. where, are you, where am I? You know, and then... It was like a dream. Yeah, you know, I went in the, in the dressing room, we were dancing with the president. After we were dancing on the bus, then when we went back to the hotel, uh -huh. I directly jumped in the swimming pool with my, all my clothes inside the <laughs> swimming pool. So I was like, wow, you know. Yeah. And for me, it was just amazing, amazing, you it know. It was. So Something amazing. you didn't expect? I think we expected. Well, I think so. You we did. did. We yeah, did because mm -hmm. because um, I think so, sorry to cut you, James. Mm -hmm. Off. I think we, we the final we played uh, more or less without pressure. Mm -hmm. I remember I have Renard uh, said, "Enjoy the game. Yeah. yeah, just enjoy, no matter what happens." Mm -hmm. So went in that game without any pressure, without thinking what's going to happen. You know, mm -hmm. we just went there. We were like, ah. This is our moment. This is our time. Mm -hmm. Like James said, we were dancing, mm -hmm. we were jumping up, and now we didn't care who, if it's Kalusha Yeah, mm -hmm. the president, whoever was there, we just pour water, drinks, everything. Wow. It was something, up to, up to today, it's not something that I can even easily put my finger on how I felt. Or oh, really? At times it um, will bring even, I will have goosebumps just watching that. Oh, wow. So how often do you go back to that clip? I think it's just in your head, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that you can never forget. Yeah. It's, it's more or less like part of your DNA. And, uh -huh. uh, yeah, we thank God for that particular day. Yes. Okay. If uh, there's a day that you want to go back, mm -hmm. uh, I would go back. That to that particular, particular day. Yeah. Tell me the emotions. I mean, we know Didier Drogba, Chelsea legend. He was on that team. <laughs> uh, because that me, 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 I'm, I'm already a Chelsea fan, so... Uh -huh. That day was like, this man is, uh, is going to see his different Zambia, you know, because they, <laughs> yeah. we, 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 we coming to the stadium, uh -huh. there were Samsung adverts, it was Drogba was coming there, so we were like, what is happening here? Everything. Are they even counting us that we are playing the finals? You oh, know? really? So, yeah. but as we were looking forward, because before, before, I think before this final, we had played with uh, Rigo uh, Bet Song, yeah. the, the previous yeah. Nations mm -hmm. Cup. Mm -hmm. So we were like, we were ready, we were just like enjoying ourselves, you mm. know, like you said, Rena said, just enjoy your game. Yeah. Show what you can show. We didn't have a name. Nobody was looking at us. Everybody sure. was just because Drogba was there, the Aya Toure. Yeah. This team was just too huge mm -hmm. compared to Zambia. So we, mm -hmm. we were not given a chance over this final. But, you know, 
that's what makes everything even more exciting today. More sweet, I yeah, know. Yeah, because I if you had beaten like a team like Swaziland, people would be saying ah, because Swaziland. Yeah. <laughs> now it carries weight because we had, we had uh, brought the giant down. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it's like a David and a Goliath. Yeah. So for me, it's been it was it was, it was really exciting. Mm -hmm. It was really exciting, and that's sometimes like I, like I keep saying, it's difficult to find the exact moment to go back like specifically, but mm. every time. You just look at football, Zambian football, you're always inside 2012. Mm -hmm. yeah. No matter how it happens, mm -hmm. we lose, we win. You see mm -hmm. the people coming to watch our games. Yeah. It's still exciting in our hearts, but I'm sure God is going to bring more glory like this. Because wow. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. definitely. I believe yeah. so. Now, that was after Zambia having tried so many times to win the Africa Cup and it was you. Do you think you're God chosen that you won the Cup? May I put it as if uh, not God chosen, but. It was just about time, mm -hmm. you know. It was about time that we put uh, our country on that, on that particular. Uh, should I put it on the map? Yeah. Let me put it like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Because we have come close before 90, mm -hmm. was 90, I think. 94, 94 or so. 96, 96, 96, we were almost yeah. there, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, I believe it was about time. Mm. And uh, one particular thing which was so interesting of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of seem to be one. Whatever yeah. we do, if me I had to play or James had to come in mm -hmm. or me or I had to come in, mm -hmm. we are just at the same per same level. We are one, mm -hmm. and which was the most cardinal thing of everything. Yeah, we used to support each other like no man's business. Mm -hmm. You were brothers. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So this... how did you end up like that? And I think that's what we've seen happen now, not to discredit the the current teams. But I think that particular team, there was this force, you were one. We could feel it, watching TV, seeing you guys play. You could see that you were one entity or one force. How did you get to that place? I think from, from since 2006, most of the yeah. members from 2006, we have been together, we were together for a long time. Uh -huh. Since 2006, most of the players were still existing in that group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what made all that to become for us to become what one ambition and one goal now for us is to try to achieve something before mm -hmm. we go out of form or when we grow older. Mm -hmm. So we had one ambition. You can see everybody the way we were working hard and everybody. So mm -hmm. everybody trusted one another, yeah. one another. Mm -hmm. And we had one goal, uh, saving God, of course, uh, mm -hmm. was one of the priorities. And then when Rena came and also the people that helped us during this course from 2008, Kalisha Wada and everybody, mm -hmm. has made us to believe in ourselves, you know, mm -hmm. and believe in each other, yeah. you know, like if your friend is playing, give him the same advice that you would give mm -hmm. yourself when you are, it's your time to play. So mm -hmm. we became united, like, like he's saying, like no man's before, uh, mm -hmm. like no man's business, because mm -hmm. I could protect him, he could protect my position. Mm -hmm. No matter if, if, if I'm going down, he'll lift me. Uh, if in the training I slow down, they're going to shout at me, oh, yeah, my definitely. teammates, you know. So mm -hmm. it was just amazing the way we, we became one, you know, mm -hmm. from since this period. Just also the mindset of everyone was uh, different. Yeah. You go to training, it would be competitive. Mm -hmm. yeah, really. It's more or less you, everyone wanted to play. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. if you're not pulling up your tokens, mm -hmm. try to believe you me, mm -hmm. you'll be outside sitting on the bench and the other guy will play. Yeah. So wow. whatever every now will say, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you just have to push every day. Mm -hmm. And there's one coach that uh, I would say, the toughest coach that has ever coached. You've ever worked with? Really? Because when you're working with Erna, you'll be walking the pitch, we actually chase you. I want to beat you up. <laughs> so it happened most of the yeah. time. Yeah. Especially all the time ask, you had to yeah, run. Yeah, you had to yeah. run. Especially the us young ones. Uh -huh. yeah. At times we joke with the elder because James had yeah. experience yeah. and yeah. us we were just coming up by then. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd say, don't be like eh, that Madala, you, you had to run. Yeah. So at times you just had to put extra effort to yeah. it. And with them, James, Chris, Chintu, mm. Joseph, everyone, mm. the bigger guys, you learn one or two things. Yeah. From Instead them. of you running like a headless chicken, you tell you, ah, at this particular time, you have to do this, you have mm -hmm. to do that. So you learn. As time goes by, you start to understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, in football, it's just a learning process like any other yeah. thing yeah. in life. Okay. Now, taking you back to your preparation time, what was it like? Was it easy? Uh, uh, remember <laughs> what happened to you, what he was saying on the first game? Yeah. Remember, you know Pepe Sisi, you uh -huh. know Dimbaba, first uh -huh. game was against Senegal. So it was uh -huh. like, Rena was like, he was too nervous on this game because the first yeah. game was like... It was tough. Uh, Dimbaba, Pepe Sisi, they were already in the, in the English yeah. Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and those us, are big names. Yeah. Yes, and yes. by then, mm. 
we Musa saw also. Musa saw. Mm-hmm. So he was reminding us every day. When you just see him, you just see Renai will tell you that maybe during the lunch time. Remember see him, remember the mama, remember this. So we just like every day we're just like woken up with this kind of words yeah. every day. And the proportion uh, we were just like so tense. Mm-hmm. We were just like training so hard. Mm-hmm. And we are so ready for Senegal. Like this first game was like mm-hmm. the game that everybody was so ready to play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No matter who started who played the game, and you could see from the result that everybody so even the Senegal they were coming through the very game mm-hmm. because that's what playing I think the second game yeah second there was game another game so we were, were doing the warm up outside mm-hmm. we had already come uh, earlier doing the warm up Senegal came very late for warm up relaxed relaxed as oh they knew that yeah, uh-huh. Zambia, uh-huh. I would beat them you know Zambia yeah. Zambia but uh, they, they, they that's the thing how did that make you feel time. because I think you went to that tournament as underdogs at times uh, at times with on that particular first game we were actually warming up mm-hmm. and when we went back in the dressing room everyone was like have you seen they are relaxed. They're relaxed. We're going to beat them. Us. So uh-huh. we created that uh, atmosphere, that spirit in ourselves that we can actually do it. Yeah. They are not looking at us as if we are a wavy team. Mm-hmm. Um, let me put it like that. And at the end of the day, we shocked them mm-hmm. by beating them two, uh, two one. By then, then from there yeah. on, it was just, just game like after game. Game after wow. game. Wow. So that just opened the place. Opened everything. Yeah. And what? what What's with this somersault, you guys? I mean, when you score, particularly, I've seen you do a lot of them, like three, four times. Do you rehearse for those, or it no. just comes intuitively um, like that? <laughs> I think it's him and Chris. It's him and Chris, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it's something that I started doing when I was young. Okay. Uh, you know, when you were growing up, my, my older brothers and uh, cousins used to do gymnastics so Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I learned from them as well so it has been there it's Mm -hmm. just at times the emotions just catch up with you without even noticing what you are doing you're already doing it so it's not something that you you practice every day yeah but you just do it when you feel like it and back home we're thinking look at him now he's going to injure himself we still need him to play I know (laughs) the smallest like you're riding a bicycle you never forget yeah (laughs) okay so when we come back I want you to talk about um, obviously now I would look at you as as coaches in a way because you have so many young people that look up to you and what are some of the lessons that you've learned that you can teach them in football, of course? I mean, because um, you are champions. Yeah, and I'll say, what is the life of a champion? What is a typical day you know, of a champion? If you want to become a champion, what are these small little nitty gritties that you need to do? Because I think you didn't just become, you didn't just become James. You didn't just become uh, Mayuka. There are certain things that you master. So after the break, I'd like you to now start teaching from, from, from your experiences. If you're joining us now, I am talking to James Chamanga and Emmanuel Mayuka. We take a break, and when we come back, we learn from the champions. Don't go away. To advertise on this program and enjoy amazing introductory rates, please call us on plus 260-211-290959 or plus 260-211-290912 or plus 260-953-538-000. Or send us an email at loyolazam at gmail.com. Hello and welcome back. If you're joining me now, we are celebrating our heroes for the last decade. I'm joined by James Chamanga and Emmanuel Mayuka. I know we all remember February 12th. 2012 that was the day we all celebrated and the guys are here with me helping us to relieve those moments now we're just talking about you making those somersaults but there's one thing that i also saw that you guys would do in the way where you normally take your corners isn't it you would go and make the the dance dance, dance and make and uh, what was that about was yeah. that a message you were sending to your opponents yeah to the opponents mm-hmm. not to our country because okay. people attend it and the same we are doing politics mm-hmm. we are doing campaign for pf uh-huh. when we started this journey uh-huh. i think the government sent the people 
to come and be with us. It was the accountant. It wasn't the guy for doing the campaigns. Uh. So the accountant is just there to facilitate, sorry, facilitate <laughs> the food and everything. Yeah. So what, that just came as a motivation. Okay. What was trending at that moment was just Don Chico. So what was, mm. actually just a motivation towards uh, every game. Yeah. So, so that's a song that we just mm-hmm. used to motivate ourselves toward going towards our every game. Okay. So there's nothing, I think. It was not political. <coughs> ah, no. Nah, nah. You can not political. No, not really. <laughs> okay. Not at all. All right. It was okay. just a song that uh, it was more or less. Uh, let's not talk much. Yeah. Let's do the working on the field. Uh-huh. That was the whole concept the of the message. Song. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let's talk about the lessons. I mean, I think before the interview, I was telling you that I have a son who just wants to become a footballer. And nowadays, parents, we just allow our kids to do whatever it is that they want to do. What are some of the lessons that you've learned, particularly from uh, 2012, that tournament? Because I think that you were both at your best. You were both at your peak, am I right? Yes. How did you find yourselves right at the peak of the game? I think like Mike highlighted earlier before, Mm -hmm. football is a learning process. Mm -hmm. So this needs needs time. And then with uh, with, with time, you have to such some elements that you need to be keeping always. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me say, for example, of course, there are, there are trains that we need to do, mm-hmm. uh, which you need to be consistent in. Uh, besides that, we used to be, we are, we are, even now, I'm sure Michael can be witness with me, mm-hmm. we are a praying team, mm-hmm. and we are also in a mindset that we wanted to achieve something. Mm-hmm. So as a football player, as a young person, you need to have an ambition, you have to have a dream, a goal, mm-hmm. to achieve beyond. If, mm-hmm. you, if you look at the team that we, we beat in 2012, the team which also everybody looks at, looked at us as, as an impossible task. Yeah. But if we, look, if we look to God and we look also to what you want to achieve in your career, everything is possible. Mm-hmm. But these are some of the things you need to be following as you go on as a young boy, mm-hmm. you need to lower your pride, mm-hmm. you know, work harder, and also try to listen to the experienced players that have gone through because football, yeah. like we are saying, they come at a different level. See, people now they are saying, why aren't we playing good? Mm-hmm. Under 23 and everybody. Under 23 and national team level is different. It's different, actually. Oh, really? It yeah. Is it more football? Much, no, it's different. The football pressures can are be, different? can be football. When you start, let's say, let me start from under 17, mm-hmm. under 20, under 23, then senior national team. When you come to think of it, when you're playing for under 17, they would a uh, little boy in that category where well, they will say, ah, he's still young, he's still yeah. developing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under 20, same applies, under 23, mm. okay, also there. But when you reach at the national team, it's smallest like your final destination. Mm-hmm. You just have to, to perform. perform, perform, no matter what. Start. There are no excuses. Yeah. But with wow. time, like mm-hmm. James also mentioned earlier, um, that team in 2012, there are players who played in the uh, Africa Cup 2006, mm. mm-hmm. 2008. Mm-hmm. Uh, as we are there, we were in Canada in 2007, uh-huh. so it was a mixture of everything. Oh, yeah. And, and that were, was a good mix, yeah, I mm-hmm. think. Mm-hmm. Also, under 23, some guys were at the Olympics, mm-hmm. so we just glued together like one, mm-hmm. so we could know where we were going. Okay. Coming back to what James was talking about, about uh, if you're a young player, at times, it's the most important thing as a footballer is what you want to achieve mm-hmm. at the end of the day. What are you putting in, in yourself? I can want to become a footballer, mm-hmm. but if I don't multiply or imply certain things upon mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. goal, I will mm-hmm. never achieve anything. Mm. To just be a dream. Anyone can be a footballer. Wow. But it takes... Anyone? Yeah, yes. but you need to be investing, you know? Yeah. Uh, you need to be investing back in your career, meaning yes. you need to be uh, paying attention to what is your strength. Mm-hmm. You need to be working towards your strength, yeah. mm-hmm. improving that. And also, you need to be learning from, the, uh, like, from the from your experiences because some of the things keep repeating themselves. They keep repeating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you need to be learning. So as you are learning, during this process, you're going to be developing these attributes as you are mm-hmm. going on. But oh, you know, like you are saying, everybody mm-hmm. can be a football player, but you need to invest time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in for you to grow and to become a better player, mm-hmm. you need to invest your time in your in career. Football. Oh wow. And most, yeah. uh, the most important thing, it's not where you come from at the mm-hmm. end of the day. Mm-hmm. And nowadays yeah, everything kind of looks simple and uh, straightforward. Mm-hmm. No, uh, for example, if you've got a son who mm-hmm. plays football, right? Mm-hmm. It has to come from him, mm-hmm. him alone, not because someone is pushing you behind. Oh, you have wow. to fight for what you want in mm-hmm. life because no one is going to give you something on a silver plate. Yeah. Yeah. You have to take it if you want it. Wow. So the most important thing, you have to fight for it. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you should have certain respect of everything yeah, that you do. That you're doing, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Personally, like me, James is older. Chris mm-hmm. is older than yeah. me. So I had to listen. 
and to learn from to them. To learn from them. Mm. At times you see something, even if it's my you say my rivalry, mm. yeah. uh, in the same number, same but position. Okay. You go like, yeah. wow, he did well. Yeah. You know, you keep it to yourself. <laughs> Me, I used yeah. to get upset. I'm not playing his play. No. Uh, get upset not because he misplayed, no, uh -huh. but because he's doing I, I, something that yeah. I'm not doing. Okay. So, but you're still friends anyway. Yeah, you're of still course. At the end of course. the day, we are, we are doing, the the same day, we're doing the same thing. Like he's saying, uh, yeah. look at 20, uh, uh, the 2012 yeah. Ghana game. Mm -hmm. I started, yeah, and I he came and the scored the goal. But we played the same position. So yeah. Rena came in and told me, ah, Mayuka, you have played some games. This mm -hmm. game you need to rest and we give you a, sh a, a shot in the second mm -hmm. half. Mm -hmm. So I went there, they, they told me, we make them tired. Yeah. And and that's true. Oh, yeah, make, make them tired. Oh, make, so you one, just <laughs> run there and make the defense tired and everything. I when the guys came in, they were fresh and they were doing everything. Oh. One chance came and they scored and we were all celebrating and we were just wow. like, And in the previous so game, in uh -huh. the same previous, was it in the quarterfinals? Yes. Mm -hmm. I had to come out, James went on, went and he scored. Against the so the idea game. is just to run around. Do you run systematically? No, or the just... <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't just run. Running, every, everybody, everybody can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. They're like, okay, let me just say, when the plane is moving, uh -huh. they've got roots, right? Yes. Yeah, so when you get used to a route, like a parallel, mm -hmm. they study those things. So yeah. you go and they are studying them. Mm -hmm. Football is the same. Uh -huh. They are roots, but you can't see them. As we know, as a striker, I, I have to smell to know, oh, the ball is going wow. to fall here. Yeah. So meaning, this is where I'm going to score. So mm -hmm. in this box, I need to have marks on my own to yeah. see them without wow. marks being there. Now, that's something that, that sets you guys apart. Because I think for one to play football, you need to have mental strength, right? Of course. You need to be a quick decision maker. Of course, yeah. of course. Because it's split seconds in the box, it's split second. Like in our position, mm -hmm. it's even worse because there you, you miss. You don't have to think too you much. You miss too. You miss too much there. <laughs> imagine the imagine the 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 the, the same penalty that Suzu took uh -huh. at this moment. Yeah. It's a, it's a one which is going to carry the nation up. Yeah. I'm sure it's something that we do in the box. Yeah. Wow. When we're in the box, as we are carrying like the whole team. It's true. So you miss it's in the, the box. Whole team and the whole, the whole team. just cries on you. It's different from the defenders and the, and the midfielders and everybody. Yeah. For us, it's split second decision in the box. So and you have to make that decision real quick. Real quick yeah. and uh, for the team to, for a team to have the victory and to have the results. So wow. it's something and that the is... The most cardinal thing in all. Mm -hmm. We are the guys that are in the heart of everything. Oh yes. Yeah. And we, we yeah. have the midfield, we have the defense, but the when you are, you are a striker, you mm -hmm. have to fight off people that are marking you. At the same time, you have to think of scoring. scoring. Uh -huh. so, so you have to. You only have maybe, maybe I should say five seconds, five seconds to, to decide everything in one no, particular. One is defending you, and we have to score. And oh, it's, 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 so. wow! Now you did something that was, I think, was so profound and very spiritual yeah. while you were in Gabon. You went to. Um, uh, the place of, of, of the shores of Gabon where the 1993 national team perished. What were the emotions for you? And maybe, where were you in 1993? Michael, were you, were you, were you still a baby? Know, were you born? Were you? I was busy. I should <laughs> ask my mother. I should <laughs> ask your mother. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, by then I was in grade three. Oh, you were in grade three? Yeah. Oh my God. I was, I was in grade three. You were still young. So yeah. th th their death didn't impact you in any way? Uh, it did. It uh -huh. did. Even to the, <laughs> that's not me. I didn't even know anything. So uh, yeah. I'll let that question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> For me, for me, when we got the, the now, mm -hmm. I'm sure even him after now, we, I'm sure now we got the history and everything. Mm -hmm. When we when we after winning now the Nations Cup, it was like our tears were shed off. Oh. You know, after winning the Nations Cup, like we won for the families, for the families that yeah. lost their loved one there because these are our people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it just became one, you know. And when we were at the show there, they are showing us where the the plane crashed and everything. Mm. It also was a part of the motivation. It yeah. also was moving us to say, this is our people were lying down here without any proper reason why mm. this happened, but God knows. And then we were motivated. This yeah. lifted our spirit because we mm. not, we were fighting with the 12th man on the field always oh, yeah. because we know that our people are lying here and they, they were good talent, they were a big talent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was so emotional, but it really motivated us. It was like a place where we, we had to carry the cup from also. Yeah. You know, yeah. so mm. Besides us being the time for us to put our name on the map, but mm. this is like a place where we wouldn't have asked for a better place for us to carry the cup mm. from Gabon at this moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a good place for us. At the same time, uh, yeah. I thought maybe it was more or less, uh, should I put it as if we were born there? Mm. We were yeah. born to do that. I think so. Um, and uh, because we went there, it, 
it felt it felt right. Mm. Uh, it just felt so right. I don't know. I yeah. don't know how yeah. others felt, but personally, it just felt so right for me. Mm. That's how, even yeah, when we went into the finals, when Renda said, enjoy, have fun. Mm -hmm. We never had pressure. We we'll let them play in front of us. We we're comfortable. Oh wow! Mm. And we should have won the game in the yeah. 90 minutes, but yeah. uh, only God uh, wanted uh -huh. us to have yeah, another no, exciting let's, let's, let's talk about that. I mean, 90 minutes, you had to go into penalties. I mean, that's where you know all of us were saying, okay, they've given us the best, but whoever let the best team win. What were the emotions for? I think the emotions because... aside from him, uh, uh -huh. you can explain uh -huh. that because he was on the field. Yeah, yeah. Me are the emotions on the bench. Yeah, so we we'll hear from the yeah. emotions on the pitch and emotions on the bench. Yeah. You know, when you are, should I go straight into penalties? <laughs> <laughs> when you're taking penalties, uh -huh. uh, one thing that I've come to realize, or when you're playing football, uh -huh. James can conquer with, with me. Um, you forget what's happening around you. You yeah. just forget. You just concentrate on what you're doing at that particular moment. Despite the insults, hey, you were so good. Insults, to you know, yeah. all those are there. Uh -huh. you know, at times, it's one thing you should realize in life. When people insult you or talk about you or say whatever they want to say, with all due respect, that mm. you matter the most. Yeah. Whatever you do in life, if people continue criticizing and talking about, mm -hmm. It means you're important. You're important. Yeah, 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 for sure. Not everyone will love you, not everyone will hate you. Exactly. That's yeah. the most important thing. Mm. So, when we were there, personally, I wasn't even thinking of uh, who's watching me, mm -hmm. what is happening. I was actually singing. Mm -hmm. And I what was, was the song? My focus singing? was just going, ah, okay, I'll put my penalty on the right side. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I continued the singing. Boom. What was the song? Oh, we can, we can, I can help you sing. You know, I can sing. No, the, the song, remember the song that was Sunzo was singing. It was the same song. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that song. Kalombo mwa. Yeah, oh, that was yeah. the song that we were singing. And it was the same on the bench. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had the same song with the guys that were in the field. Mm -hmm. So I was the bench. We are now we're kneeling down on the on the on the bench. We saw that. Praying yeah. and. Sing the same song. Mm -hmm. we, we will pray after one one kick. We will sing. We will pray. We will sing. We will pray. Like that. The, like that. Even even the qualifiers, were, which was the it's same. It's the same thing. That's on the bench wow. on the field. We we'll do the same. So it's just it was just a continuous process. Mm. And it was uh, it was uh, the emotion on the bench were even worse because yeah. once you're on the bench, it's like you're trying to push someone who's in the field and you can't get inside. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> boy, you penalty. Make sure you know outside. Then you sure. I mean, when he kicks. Love. But yeah. when, when, when the, uh, the, now, the last period that, uh, that killed us is the one that Renford missed. Yes, I remember. I remember that. We all went down. We were on the knees, but we were all like, went down. down. And, and then we came up. Now? Then we were like, okay, God is in control. Yeah. Yeah, it was in, it was mm. in control because Renford had a very good tournament. Yeah. And uh, for me, he was one of the best tournament yeah. uh, players in this tournament. Uh, Jovino came and he was, they were like pointing at each other because now they, they were, didn't have confidence yeah. Yeah. whom to play the next penalty okay. after Renford missed because they uh -huh. knew that they also missing. He went and missed the penalty. Jovino. After that, wow. trust me, we sat up, uh -huh. we were standing, me, I was ready to fire. I was ready to start running. Really? Yeah, because we know no, no, we can't miss the second a, Yeah, time. that was, I mean, you ran. I saw that that was really running. Like, uh, okay, <laughs> on that particular day, I remember I was tired, really. Mm -hmm. But when Sunzu scored that final penalty, uh -huh. trust me, I forgot that I was tired. Wow. I just no, Everybody forgot, I think, on the field. I couldn't feel anything. You were I not. had muscle cramps and stuff, but <laughs> and believe you me, I don't know what came over me. I just felt like... <laughs> I didn't know if I had to go this side or this side or this side. You were just went. I just went. And for you on the bench? As we didn't know where to go. Because what happened? Jason said I was injured. Yes. So we now we're now carrying him. And that's we were running after Sunzu. So I don't know. I was running after Sunzu. I was running after Mwene. I don't know because we were just going. Just going to somewhere this side. And just like okay, now we okay. We've reached the place now. We're celebrate now. We started jumping now and singing and just from now the tears came in and everything. Wow. It, was, it was just amazing. Just amazing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Now, on a personal note, obviously, I'll start with you. Who inspired you to play football? For me, it's uh, uh, my brothers. Uh, my family is a footballing family. Mm -hmm. My first born was a football player, mm -hmm. third born, and also the fourth born. The second, mm -hmm. the second born wasn't a football player. Third and fourth. And then my young brother and me, we are mm -hmm. still playing. Mm -hmm. So my one inspired me was my brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When do you stop? I'm looking at you. You're so fit. I mean... Uh, 
Do you ever stop or after yes. playing football? <laughs> I think uh, I'm stopping once uh, the young ones then they start doing well. Uh-huh. And I, I'm sure it's not that long. Uh-huh. Uh, Mayuk has brought back uh, his good form. Now yeah. he started playing again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For me, I'm waiting for just a few clips. When the young ones learn a few things, uh-huh. I'm sure my time will who come you um, come for me to call it off okay so and then after playing football do we see you as a coach it's in line uh, mm-hmm. for me I, mean, I need a bit of time for me to rest because i was out for some time mm-hmm. as well from my family my kids mm-hmm. so i would want to be for them to grow so seeing me mm-hmm. so i would want to spend maybe a year out of football after i finish uh-huh. spend a bit of time with my family and my kids once they know to know mm-hmm. properly of course they know this daddy yeah. but but daddy is ever up, yeah, upset you so know they he's need, playing i need in... to take them to school so yeah. on, a, on a daily basis at least mm-hmm. for a year and then we see what god prepares after oh fantastic yeah, i'm sure i'm going to be adding something to football in Zambia, mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mayuka, this is a name that will live forever in Zambia, still playing. Mm-hmm. Uh, who inspired you to play football? Um, my dad used to play football as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. And uh, truth to be told, no one really, really progressed in, in football in our family, like mm-hmm. on a very higher note. Mm-hmm. But with me, football, it's been more or less my life, mm-hmm. my DNA, somehow. Mm-hmm. I'll be passing in the street or whatever. If mm-hmm. I see someone just kicking the ball, I would mm-hmm. just feel, I just feel like I just Feels want like to home. touch the, that ball, you know, just just that mm-hmm. feeling just to get it out of me. So, but personally, it's my family. Uh, my dad played some, my uncle did as well. My older brother, we always argue between him and me. Mm-hmm. He always feels like he's better than me, but I know I'm the best. <laughs> so that one, I like we will that. go and talk about it when I get home. <laughs> so, I know. You uh, you but besides that, it. I always uh, loved uh, playing football. Okay. Uh, it's something that even mom, when Knows. I was growing up, she mm. used to beat me over it. Over football. Mm-hmm, because yeah. I had to. Whenever I come back from training, you know, back in the day, you played maybe with sneakers, mm-hmm. uh, dirty sneakers, by mm-hmm. the way, so I had to hide them on top of the roof. I know wow. that my mother won't go there. So. True. Mm-hmm. You never played with Tumpombo? We did. Yeah, we did a lot. Of course. Of course. Of course. Well, that's where it all started from. Yeah, yeah. That you, you don't even have to. Of course. Uh, everything. Even up, even up to now, I can make. easily do that. Oh, well. really? Mm. Yeah. You can make a kampombo. Mm. Yes, of course. So I should it start from there? Of course. Even now, even now, no, even up to now I can do it. Up to now. Oh, really? Mm. My football shoes, when they're open, I can show them by myself. Easily. Is there a specific shoe that you want us to wear? There are these, is it how many stars? 14 stars, all these stars? Is there a particular shoe? At the beginning, you have to wear it. Anything that comes your way. Oh. I don't know, it looks like a football shoe you have to mm-hmm. use. It. Oh, really? Yeah. Doesn't matter. At the, at the beginning, it doesn't matter what you use. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 26 doesn't matter, but as you progress, as progress, you become you a professional, see, yeah, you, you start feeling now the weight of the boots mm-hmm. because now the pace of the game starts to rise. Okay. So now you need to wear something a bit lighter mm-hmm. and they're improving the boots every day and every now and day. Mm-hmm. Because you can't wear the Copa Mundo right now. The football is too advanced. Oh, the football really? is moving too fast and everything. So, so you have to keep up with the pace as well. Okay. So you have to wear the right equipment. You, okay. yeah. you have to know in football, you have to also know what's your weight like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where do you have the most speed? Mm-hmm. Uh, it depends on what position you play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, so everything is on higher, higher level. So you have to push it as well. Wow, okay. Mm-hmm. And what's with the color, you guys? I see you wearing red studs, orange studs. Is that is the that the football thing? Yes, the boots. So the, just the, you see, marketing is like that, I think, for these companies. Uh, they want to attract us, attract mm. football players. Mm. So if you see, if one is making a black boot the whole year, who's going to be attracted? Yeah, Nobody. So, yeah. so, so, is, so is what the Apple is doing, Apple, uh, Apple phone they are doing. Now they have yeah. bought three cameras. So I'm wondering, what is this? Why is this phone? Yeah. Yeah. So why, am, why is this so boot is this, yellow? Yeah, Maybe it's more scoring like more goals. Yeah. So you, you just get... It yeah. doesn't matter with the colors. Just, I think it's just advertising from the, okay. from the companies. Okay, so let's now, I know we don't have a lot of time, but let's, what message do you have for the national team? Not that we're discrediting them, but um, you are the champions and we all learn from you. And I'm sure they have a lot to learn from you. What is your message to them? I think my own message is that uh, most of them, they are young. Mm-hmm. Let them lower their pride mm-hmm. and look to God also for uh, for them, for their strength, only mm-hmm. to God. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, there's no other thing that made us to win the Nations Cup, mm-hmm. but from looking to God. Because mm-hmm. others nowadays, they go to these young ones and tell them to mm-hmm. believe in something else. 
Mm. There's nothing. There's no you know, other secret but just from looking to God and just believing in themselves. Yeah. Yeah, Learning from what they are making as their mistakes. Mm -hmm. Once they add up these small, small things, everything will be back to where we have been in Zambia. And Zambia's got the talent, if you can see even the young ones now. Yeah. Just a matter of time before they gel into B1. Mm -hmm. And after, for me, I love just them just to follow those footsteps and then everything will be back to where we have been. Wow. Yes. Awesome. Mayuka? Um, personally, I think uh, we're not that far. Hmm. We're not that Really? We just need to, like James has said, just lower, to bring everything down. Mm -hmm. We start from the scratch again, we push it a bit further, maybe forward. There is a lot of talent in the national team. Mm -hmm. But we, at the end of the day, they should learn how to stand for each other not uh, for the personal gain or anything. Mm. Because uh, as we had a different team uh, than uh, the current team today, yeah. not criticizing anyone, but there's still a lot of room to improve. Mm. And uh, I'm still there, James is still here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are a lot of guys who are still out there. For me, mm. I, would, uh, I would say me, I would, I've discreted myself already. Mm -hmm. I'm praying that uh, uh, God uh, blesses him with more strength, <laughs> uh -huh. and maybe when he, because you know this thing don't go out, out of the, out, yeah. out of your system. Yeah. So whatever he has left from mm -hmm. what we had in 2012 and these other past years, still in him. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that he can get back back to his best form. Mm -hmm. Because since he just started playing now, mm -hmm. and if he can get one shot at the national team, mm -hmm. for me it's not it's normal. Okay. But for him, has got still time. Yeah. So hopefully that he can work harder. Mm -hmm. And go back there. You can and inspire the young ones. Inspire the young ones. Will be, sure. It will be. So a he good will be the, the, the medallas. You are the medallas in his time. So he will be the. Yeah, now me, me, me and the medallas in the, the team. Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course. The Bakamba. The kids. Will, my son will be calling you Bakamba. Yeah, you of, know? Course. No, of course. I, even me. I, <laughs> you are saying. Young ones are saying. Like big man. How I'm are there. I'm there. I'm there. Thank you for being there. Okay, so before we come to the end of the show, in fact, we're going to close the show. I want you to sing that song. I want you to send the, the, the national team now and the country into that mode. You, were, you sang the Kalombo Mwani. All of us, we were singing the song while you were singing. So thank you very much for coming to the show. We will close with the song. I will help you sing, don't worry. Thank you so much for thank coming. You. Thank you for having me. And thank me. you for honoring your purpose in life. I think you were purpose to, to play football. Thank yeah. you so much, Wakamba. No. No. <laughs> you were purposed to play football. <laughs> you honored him. <laughs> you honored your call. No, so you. we've come to the end of the show. This has been Mwangala Chakalashi Santos. But the champions of 2012, and I believe they're still our champions, are going to sing mm -hmm. the song that they were singing on the pitch when they won the Africa Cup. Join me for another exciting episode. Kalombo mwane, kalombo mwane, kalombo mwane, kalombo mwane, kalombo mwane, mwele samuli bakulu, kalombo mwane, kalombo mwane, kalombo mwane.